This is the plaintiff, Dennis Martin. He says his car was illegally towed by the outlaw bandit defendant who preys on innocent people and snatches their cars off the street. He then extorted money from him to get the car released. He won't be intimidated by the likes of this dastardly defendant and is suing him right here, right now for the $500 he's owed. This is the defendant, Robert Scores. He says the plaintiff tells a great story, but the guy had an expired registration on the car. That's why it was towed off the lot he parked it in. He called the city police department, did everything by the book, and this is just one more person who thinks he can sue him and win for a tow. And will soon find out he can't. He's accused of going rogue on a tow. All parties, please be ready. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff says his car was towed by a tow truck company that was just sitting there waiting and preying on innocent people. But the defendant says he towed the car because it had expired tags. It's the case of, hey, I can hook you up. Thank you, Douglas. Okay, Dennis Martin, you're suing Bobby's Auto Repair and Collision Incorporated, represented here by Robert Scores. You're the owner? Yes, I am. For the return of the amount you paid in order to get your car out of tow when he towed it, plus an additional $256 for aggravating you. So we yes, can make it a nice round $500. <laughs> yes. All right, let me hear it, Mr. Martin. Why do you feel you were illegally towed? Where were you when you parked? On the day in question, I was visiting my daughter who lives up in Poughkeepsie. This is my daughter, Salima. And um, I dropped off the car to her at her house. After that, I went home. Anytime I go up to a house, all right, I park on the side where it says visitors parking. I feel I park there all the time. Never had any problems, any issues. The moment I gave the card to my daughter, all of a sudden, this young man over here felt that it was okay to tow the vehicle. When did you bring the car up to her? What date? In April. It was in April. When in relation to the tow? Is it the day you went to visit her? Is it a month after you went to visit her? What no, was it? It, was, it was the day after. The day after? Yes. You were visiting. I left the van, the van with her because okay. I was giving it to her. Okay. And I left it with her. Okay. When I went home, this young man felt that he can tow it because I feel that he towed it because he seen Pennsylvania plates. All right? And... Uh, if okay, he so, tow it. Right, but he know. saw Pennsylvania plates in Poughkeepsie. In Poughkeepsie. Okay. So he knows that I would have to come and... Why did they have to sue you to get their money back? They don't they... have to sue me to get me their money back. I performed something that was done, and I have a little list of rules and regulations here of the complex. So Why was that car towed? Because it's a violation of the rules and regulations in... What, that what did complex. they violate? The sticker. I and, I and, and I don't understand. Your credibility to be extremely suspect. Like I performed something that was done, and I have a little list of rules and regulations I'm here. I'm glad that there was some deficit to you for an accident that you caused. It's a new one on me. <laughs> All vehicles must have a valid registration and inspection sticker. That car had a valid registration and inspection sticker. You just didn't okay. know where to look because it's on. Why are you getting angry? I'm it's not astounding getting angry, to me I'm not that you're angry. fighting this. Okay. I'm not you're fighting like, this. That you're like the bad lawyer who then doesn't want people to talk. You don't get aggravation, or I would be a millionaire. I understand. Okay? But I you understand. do get your court costs and prejudgment statutory interest from the day you had to pay the $244. Thank you. We'll figure that out for you outside. That's my verdict. Thank you, y'all. <laughs>